Yeah, so the process in the morning, obviously the engines are in the engine shed uh, tucked away in the morning, so we normally get the one of the other vehicles out, either the diesel or the battery electric engine, we'll bring it up into the shed here, tow them outside. We'll then prep the engine, make sure there's water in the boiler, um, which always there should be, unless it's obviously been out of ticket and you've got to refill it from normal, so we just stick the hose pipe on the connection, fill the boiler up so we're on in the sight glass, so roughly half a glass to full. Um, we'll then obviously put coal around the, around the firebox, get ready with some wood and an ignition source, sort of diesel or something, whatever you des uh, decide to choose. We'll then put the airline attachment on because obviously there's no draw through the fire so we encourage it by using compressed air. That then draws it through the firebox. It roughly takes probably about the best part of an hour, an hour and a half to get some sort of steam on there. Um, and then we obviously do the important part which is cleaning in the morning but unfortunately this morning with the rain interrupting it's been a bit of a, been a, bit of a problem for us but hey ho, it is what it is. Today's a very special day for all of us down here really because this railway has been restored from pretty much nothing um, as a passion for, for everybody who's down here. There is, uh, there's no paid staff at, uh, at the railway, it's all been volunteers for pretty much the last 40 years. When the speeches are made a little later on, we're going to, um, there, there might be a few tears in the eyes because there's a lot of people who aren't still here with us, you know, who actually started the project. We're, we've only got two of the original volunteers still with us um, who started everything back in 1982. and. Um, our chairman, Trevor's going to do a speech at 10.30 this morning, I think he'll acknowledge that. And um, I, I, I think after that, it's going to be really quite a day of celebration. I've been involved with the railway since I was at school, really. I've always had an interest in all things mechanical, and the railways in particular. It's fantastic. It's a um, great sense of achievement. We really feel like we've put something back. Um, the railway, of course, completely dismantled after it closed in the 1960s and the sense of achievement having rebuilt that over many years is, is amazing. I think it's really important that we're able to look back on our history and remember what the Isle of Man was originally all about or certainly in the 1890s what the Isle of Man was all about and I also think basic Victorian engineering it's quite easy to understand and it, it says a lot about the way we, we are today. So the railway opened originally in 1896, 23rd of May 1896, and it's it survived up until the, the, um, the 1960s and as I said closed completely. It's been restored by volunteers starting in the late, uh, in the late 1980s, 1980s and right the way through to the present day. So I think the fact that we've reached our 125th anniversary is particularly special for us. This island has a very rich history when it comes to transport systems and this was very much part of that um, but it was lost when tourism declined 1963 the line shut um, and as far as everybody was concerned that was the end of that um, but in 1982 uh, a group of us had another idea about that it was amazing clearing the undergrowth that you found all this ironwork and it actually when you added it all together, it made three of the replica coaches. So all the ironwork, all the steelwork on our replica coaches is original. It's just the woodwork that's new. And the more we try to hone the product and the more we try to offer to the visitors, um, the more labour intensive it becomes and the more preparation work that takes place. But really 125 has been all about this station. This is what we've concentrated on this year. We often talk about the Gradle family, but it really is one big family. Not just for the railway, we're there for each other outside of the railway.